Hey there guys, what is going on? Sloppy here, playing some more Creativos on our lovely Creativos world. It is a beautiful Saturday morning here in Toronto, and I am so excited to be playing some Creativos today. We have a very exciting thing to do, thing planned. Um, I've also just been buying these trees. I freaking love the jungle biome at night, and I cannot wait to... I have more, like more builds in this area and be able to walk around a little bit more. The only thing I, I kind of dislike about what I'm doing right now is that all of my builds seem to be expanding this way into the savannah. I really want to be in and around these trees, but that is for the future. Today we're actually going to be working over here. I feel like maybe I should like, you know, maybe, maybe bring some of these like light up leaves into this area. Have some like... Yeah, like some landscaping is definitely necessary, but anyway, that's beside the point. Today we are working over here. Um, last time we did our mountaintop library, which I think looks so good and is apparently unfinished. Whoopsie, I will get some more stone windows in just a moment here. Uh, looks like you have something for us, sir. Thank you. Um, yeah, once we get... A bunch more of these what I'm gonna do is go through all of them in a video and see you know maybe connect up the story a little bit um, but anyway you guys seem to really like this build so thank you for all the kind words it was a lot of fun and uh, you might as well like this video well you're here because YouTube just reminded me to remind you to like this video tell you what if you don't like the video after you've done watching it then watch the next video on Thursday and if you don't like both of them you can hit the like button twice on the second video, and that way I'll know you didn't like it, either of them. Alright, um, anyway, today we're going to be down here building, um, but before we get started on that, I do want to check out something real quick. Alright, we are in the base, and um, there's a gift from Star. 10 villagers, 33 bookshelves, a bunch of iron, and some super excavators. Well, thank you for that. Strange little chest of items, but I appreciate it nonetheless. Um, let's just tilt that back. Anywho, um, yes, today we're going to be doing this one right here. The machine area. The machine area, which is going to be this area. Um, yeah. Machine area is kind of an interesting thing. Um, I basically want an area where I can come and play with designs and sort of experiment with some of the machinery stuff. <clears throat> a quick and easy place where I have access to all the machines. I can sort of set them up, try out ideas, that sort of thing. Um, so basically we just need a big field and then a chest that has all of the machines. Maybe some... I don't even, maybe some like basic circuits set up so that I can kind of remember them. I'm not sure. I, I don't think we need that, but we've got plenty of room. And then I was thinking, well, if we have a machine area, there is a villager that, um, hello. Wow, look at that. A striking older woman. Um, that was a weird thing to say. Um, there is a, a, a villager that suits this need, a machinist who needs arc energy all around, um, arc tech furniture, LED lighting, and a myriad of machines. Great word. Also, three pet keepers. So, that does give us the opportunity to, um, I guess, frame this area with like a nice build. The only thing I'm concerned about is that guy up there. Our researcher is not supposed to be too close to any villagers. So I'm actually not sure if this would be too close. Well, I, well, maybe we could test this really easily, actually. Um, so let's set up Machinist. He's going to say I don't have everything I need. Let's just go up and see if this guy's demeanor has changed. Does he look downtrodden that humanity has invaded his space? He still says I have everything I need. So I'm going to take that to mean it's fine. So we're going to move ahead with having a villager down here, and um, if it doesn't work out for whatever reason, you know, we'll adjust. We'll adjust. So, I'm going to get some materials ready. 
we're going to think about this project a little bit and yeah, get to building. I've never crafted so many blocks at once. <laughs> uh, Steve Recon asked if I could come over and help him out. And look at this layout. This is beautiful. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I've never crafted so many blocks at once. He's got all the blocks ready for me. I mean, this is, this is easy. Um, let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I crafted too many. Oh, no, he wants 32. So four. Boom. That. I mean, this is wonderful. Easy peasy. The spirit of the server. Words. That reminds me. Um, one of the great things about the server is we can sort of all play together and... You know, a lot of people don't have the premium block sets and, and whatnot, so we actually have a resource here in the server. Um, the Community Bank, a great place to um, to access a lot of this information and stuff. What am I saying? Um, a great place. It's a really cool build, as you can see, but it's, um, it's a really great place to sort of be able to access some of these blocks. So, I do, at some point, want to come in here and just drop off tons of blocks. You can see there's a few in here. Um, but I do want to come and just make a ton of the... I might try and help out a little bit and make a space for all of the different premium block sets and just craft, like, you know, thousands of them at once, maybe in a live stream at some point. Yeah. Yeah. That's something I want to do so that even if you don't have the premium block sets, you can still come over here and get the blocks. Because, um, you know, like Steve, it was kind of just luck that I came on at the same time and was able to craft all those. I I'm sure he would have, you know, found someone to do it eventually. You can ask in the Discord. But eventually, I would love to get all of the premium block sets in the community bank and just have sort of thousands of them ready to create. So if you guys are interested in helping with that or just donating some raw materials for that, um, yeah, just drop them off at the community bank somewhere around this room, I suppose, because it looks like this is kind of the, the block set room. So drop off any blocks if you're interested in that project in here and um, some point in the near future, hopefully me or somebody else can come and just sort of drop off tons and tons of blocks. Here's sort of the crafting materials. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This this build is so cool. I love the theme of this place. Um, like, I love that it's all like a big tree house like this. And it just looks awesome. Anyway, back to my base. So, for me, the first thing I do when I try and plan a build like this is select blocks that I think will work together. So... We need the Arctech blocks, um, that much is obvious. So he needs to be surrounded by Arctech furniture and Arctech energy, which I assume means the lighting. I'm gonna look it up on the wiki. The lighting of this is blue, um, but yeah, we'll sort of have those around. What I was thinking might look kind of neat um, is to do, well, Desert Villa is, I think the set that's supposed to work nicely with like Savannah's. Um, I'm not really sure about that. But what I was thinking is, I think industrial would be perfect for this. I think having, like, an industrial vibe would be kind of a neat thing for the machine area. And these are really great blocks. And we can kind of make it look like, maybe it's sort of like a rundown factory. Like, maybe this isn't the world's greatest machinist. Um, or something like that. So that's what I was thinking, industrial. They also are, you know, just gorgeous blocks. I mean, they really work well. We can, you know, have barrels outside and make it look very, um, kind of that. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to go with. There's just a few extra things we need. Um, one thing I'm thinking, though, is I kind of want to... I think those are the blocks I want to go with, but the other thing is I kind of almost want to get the idea of what I want the area to be before I like build any structures if that makes sense um, I, I still want this um, these teleporters I, I still want them on either side what I'm thinking is I, I do want everything connected by pathway so what I was thinking is we could actually make the pathway out of 
the garden area, I was thinking it might be kind of cool to go into this mountain a little bit. And that actually come like out the side of the mountain as opposed to over the ground because we have this gorgeous, you know, riverbed. And I almost don't want to ruin it. But then I thought it might be kind of cool if like part of this side here is like glass and you're looking out. So we kind of have this walkway that goes maybe down a little bit here, straight over, and then kind of up through the ground here. And then across this area and into the mountain almost straight and then goes up. That's what I'm thinking as a pathway. And then from there, I can sort of visualize where I want the buildings and stuff to be, if that makes sense. I'm trying to explain the logic of what I'm thinking. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that'd be kind of cool. Also, um, I think I just shared the clips of, of helping um, Steve Recom, but he gave me these bone broth and this is one of the things i was thinking about when i i really want to build that food and potions area but i know it's just going to take forever to build that area because i have to make all the food and potions um but yeah look at this stamina regeneration plus 20 max stamina bone broth bone broth that is really cool so thank you steve and yeah i'm going to um i think build this pathway now and then you know, we can uh, talk next steps. I, I do want to keep this alien plant here and then maybe build a few more of them. This landscape's very flat. Um, so what I was thinking, uh, I know I'm just sharing a lot of thoughts, but I promise I will start building soon. I'm not just procrastinating. I am. Um, what I was thinking is because this area is so flat, we are going to bring some trees and stuff into this area. And... I think having some of these like alien plants sort of spreading a little bit could be kind of a neat thing. Um, but we're also going to bring over, I do want to bring over some of the jungle leaves and sort of have these two areas less. Right now they're very like, there's a very harsh border. Like what I want to do is have these kind of like creeping into each other as opposed to just like, here's where that biome ends. So we are going to do a lot of landscaping eventually, and you know the jungle is one of the few biomes that I think does a really good job of it naturally. You can see like they have all these little trees and stuff like overgrowing. That's what we really want. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to get building. I'm going to stop talking, and I'm going to put some of these ideas that I've been saying into reality. There, I fixed it. Gosh. So, machinist, eh? Um, oh, it's a gloomy day on the server. Um, machinist, um, he has a few requirements, as do, I think, all of these villagers. So, um, what does he need? Well, it's actually pretty easy. Um, well, it's, it's sort of easy. Basically, he needs to have 32 different Arctech blocks around him. Now, I assume that the Arctech blocks means, um, like, the Arctech furniture and lights and stuff. It can actually be any machine. Um, so, it can be flips, switches, whatever, whatever. I guess those are all Arctech blocks because they have, like, the energy or whatever. And then he needs to have 16 LED lights. So, you can actually just put 32 LED lights around him and that works, apparently. But yeah, he needs um, 32, 16 LEDs and 16 arcs, arc tech, arc energy, whatever you call it. And uh, then to, I guess, I, I, from what it seems like he can work, he or she, the machinist can work with just that. But if you have one of each type of keepa, he works faster or better or gives you better stuff, whatever it is. So... That's easy enough, minus the keep apart. That'll probably just happen over time. <laughs> um, I'll try and get probably the normal keepa today, but I don't know if I'll get any of the other ones. Anyway, I was thinking about where to put this guy. I want quite a bit of space. So I was thinking um, the pathway comes up here. Oh, yeah, I guess I can show you. I dug a tunnel. Um, we're going to have like a cool thing here. And if we go back to here, comes up, uh, comes up through here. Anyway, we have this tunnel. It's uh, it's cool. I think it'll be cool. Then the pathway will go up and it kind of curves into that. So I'll do that eventually. 
But um, for now, this lady, this man, this machinist, um, I'm thinking almost in the shadow of this tree is where I want them to. I kind of want a little bit of a leeway between where the path is and where sort of the area starts. I might fence it in, I might not. Um, but yeah, we basically need a big flat area, which is perfect because that's what we have here. And then we're going to put a house hut thing back there. And yeah, 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 yeah. One thing to note about this place is that it'll actually need quite a bit of storage because, um, well, first of all, there's a lot of machines. Um, there's quite a lot of machines, and you can see these are all in the tinker category. So these are all machines. These are all things that can be controlled by machines. All of the lights, beacons, yada, yada, yada. Then we have contraption blocks. And then there's also a lot of blocks that have um, different qualities that make them interesting to use. Things like ice, things like mud. So I want to have storage for all of these things. So all of the machines and then all of the different things machines can control. And then all of the blocks, all of the blocks that have special qualities. So that's quite a bit of storage. And yeah, so this might be quite a project. This is probably a two episode type thing. But for now, I want to get her working, him working, the machinist working. And yeah, so what I'm going to do is set up basically a small area back here and get some blocks down and go from there. This is a lot of talking episode, and then I'll show you, I guess, what I built. Um... Yeah, so I need to get a bunch of industrial blocks going, and yeah, I mean, this tree I kind of want to keep, but I also feel like it might just be fine to get rid of. We'll see, but yeah, we're going to need, we're going to need a decent size area back there. Well, I've got a little bit of a building in, <clears throat> excuse me, my throat, where did it go? Um, yeah, a little bit of a building in, um, it's quite small, it's sort of back there. I pictured it, uh, it's sort of front yard coming out quite a bit. You can see I put a garage on the side, so we might do some fancy stuff. We might have to call over, uh, Bob GT to build one of his many, many custom vehicles. And, uh, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, check out the auto museum on, uh, on this very server. It is... Something to behold. Anyway, um, we've got the villager in. The inside's very uh, not done yet. 16 LEDs in the floor. He doesn't have what he needs. We need to add another 16 machines and stuff. Um, so, yeah, we've got a little graded side that's going to be sort of garage, quote-unquote. And then, yeah, we just got to fill in the space here. The um, items that I want to store, I think I want to be mostly out front but we do have storage in the back and we have plenty of floor room to play with here so what i'm going to do next is just get in um all of the <clears throat> excuse me what is going on uh, i'm just going to get down like tons of machines and stuff i think over here what i'm going to do is just plop down a bunch of these uh these tables and oh those are weirdly dark um, you know, pop down just a bunch of these tables and just, um, you know, put machines on them. So, yeah, those are like really dark. That's weird. That's really weird. No, they don't do anything if you press them. Um, maybe, maybe you put one. And that doesn't, doesn't light them up at all, does it? Huh, that's interesting. These ones look great. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm just going to fill these up with machines. That would be, what is this? That's two rows of five. That's ten. Maybe another few right here. Um, yeah, I'm just going to get to the magic number of 16 and then see what he thinks. Does that sound good to you, guy? Okay, yeah, that's cool. I wasn't, wasn't expecting an answer or anything. It's... Okay, so, a little bit of time later, I've got tons of machines down in here. Um, it doesn't look very good. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it, it, 
it doesn't look good, but it, it it's here and it works and that's good. Um, can you guys just get out of this square? They just want to be in this hole and I don't know why. Let's just fill those in. Um, yeah, he has everything you need. He'll wave for me. So the only other thing we have to do is get the three keepers in here to make sure he's working at maximum efficiency or whatever you want to call it. And we'll probably work out some better way to like store stuff. Um, again, I think I mentioned I want to have it like outside. So we, well, but then what's the point of having him in here? I guess we'll work on that, whatever. Anyway, he's got everything he needs. So he'll start giving us machines. But over here, I was trying to keep track of what I actually want to store in this area, what I need for a machine area. So uh, we need all the machines, all the input devices. So that's all of like the keypads, the switches, all of that sort of stuff. Um, animated blocks. I was actually thinking, so there's a bunch of blocks that like do stuff that you can power on and off. Um, the industrial bellows comes to mind as well. So I want to keep track of all of those as well, because that's just... Why not, right? Special blocks, we already talked about that. Ice, mud, um, I guess all the slopes and stuff. Anything that makes your character behave weirdly. Slow down, speed up, slip, slide, skedaddle. Um, lights and doors, and then I have two empty spaces. I don't know what else. Um, you know, contraption blocks, the ladders and stuff will be in special blocks. There's probably things I'm forgetting that I hope you guys remind me of, but... So right now that's, um, well, probably five chests because these are split. Um, these also, I probably won't store every light and door in this area because we also have that storage over there. So, well, actually, yeah, that'll probably be one chest. We really only need like one light and one door because if we're playing with lights and doors, you know, whatever. Um, we don't need to store all of them. With these, though, we probably will store all of them because they're like a weird set of blocks. Anywho, chains come to mind as well. Anything that just is different and has, like, mechanics that you can use in, like, a game situation or just, like, different mechanics than normal blocks, I suppose. Chairs and stuff, I guess. Like, those have, like, an ability to do something different. I don't know. Um, but, yeah. So, that's cool. Um, that's cool, that's cool. Anyway, I don't know what I want to do next. Um, obviously, this place needs a roof and and, uh, and that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, actually, what's uh, like an exact middle of this? There is an exact middle. Okay, that, that works. Um, I don't know what I want to use these walls for. I don't just want to like put windows in them, but we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to uh, do a little bit more work here and... Uh, yeah, I might uh, level this out a little bit. We did it! Yay! Uh, we <laughs> math gate. Um, we got a bunch of stuff. That's cool. Random number generator too. Um, yeah, that's cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, so that'll fill up over time. That's how much he gave. That was his first haul, and that was just without the keepers. Like. What is he going to give us, man? I'm excited. Um, I'm going to get a roof on this thing. I kind of want to just finish like this building and then worry about the rest um, in the next episode, I suppose, building the actual quote-unquote machine area. Um, so anyway, I'm going to fill in like two of these sides with windows. Um, I'm not sure about the other ones. I wish these industrial windows weren't as frosted as they are, but, you know, we are where we are. And... Yeah, it's going to be a very flat building. We're just going to put the roof right at that height. And, uh, yeah, that'll basically be it. For now, I'm just going to fence this off. Just because I don't want him wandering out of here when I set him to wander. And, uh, yeah, that way no animals can just kind of creepy crawl in here. And, yeah, time just for a, a real simple ceiling. I'm not going to do anything too crazy. And then we'll have the structure and, um... Yeah, I think this place will look a lot better once we do the front part and add some sort of, like, detailing. And then, as well as this big stretch... Ah, it's dark out. This is a bad time to do it. But this big stretch of yellow, we're going to sort of rough up a little bit. It, I think it'll look a lot better, too, once we get the pathway in and stuff. But, um, yeah, we will be sort of roughing it up so that it 
it just looks better. Yeah. But that'll be next episode because I'm almost out of time to record. This took a really long dive, actually, um, and I'm kind of embarrassed with how long it took, but is what it is. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I should stop talking. And we're done, I think. Um, <laughs> we're done, he says. Um, yeah, I'm just going to put all of the ones that make and move in here. Anyway, um, yeah, so I tried to add a little bit more intrigue from the outside here. So the roof kind of comes up a little bit. It, um, I think, looks a little bit better. I also, you can see, used the, uh, the wild wood. I uh, mentioned I want to use this in all of my builds to sort of connect them together, even though they're using different materials. So inside, you'll be able to see that a little bit better. Um, but yeah, you can see I've added some things that block sight lines. Um, this is something I've been trying to sort of get better at is, you know, when you have these big open spaces, having things that connect and sort of block out sights are actually really good for sort of filling in space, I think. Um, so I added these pillars with the uh, the tables because they just look so good um, stacked like this. They're holding up these beams. So these support beams, I think, look really good in here. The uh, industrial blocks work really well with that. I think it looks good. And then uh, I did one with the pipes just because, you know, industrial, why not? Um, and yeah, everything looks good. I even did the window trick that everyone does <laughs> um, back here. I have to fill in these two gaps, but... Otherwise, I think this place is more or less complete inside. Um, we'll figure out what to do with the storage and stuff, but I really like it. I think it's cool. Um, we might add a vehicle over here. I'm still not sure what I want to do with this space, but I also kind of like it empty. It just kind of looks like, you know, something should be parked here, but it's not. I kind of like that. Um, but I really like the wood. You can see I want the industrial skid floor, whatever it's called. Um, and these are sort of elevated, so there's a little bit of difference in the ceiling, too. Which I think looks good. I went with the glass in the middle just to to have some different textures. Um, you know, I, I think it it all kind of works. I'm really happy with it. The floor is a little bit different. I used some of the lines. I'm just really happy with this little build, you know. And next episode, we're going to be doing the exterior. We're going to get all of this finalized. The pathway, how these all connect up. I have a lot of plans for this. Even the building and the area in front that I think is going to look really cool. So... Yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. I just don't have time in this episode. So, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think in those comments down below. Subscribe for more, all that jazz. And, uh, yeah, I will catch you guys in the next one. Ciao!